Hello everybody, my name is um, Susan Amino and I am a past Centonomy student, I, I can't even remember which one I did, but anyway. I came to Centonomy kicking and screaming, literally. My sister had done the season before me and she was always going on and on and on about Centonomy this, Centonomy that, Sheke this, Sheke that, you know. And, you know, she had described it to me as a, a course for financial management. So I was like, um, anyone who knows me and my sister were completely different, chalk and cheese. So I was like, um, yeah, wait a minute, you need a centonomy. You are so disorganized with your finances. I am so organized. I mean, when I go to Nakamura shopping, I never go off my list. So I was like, I don't need centonomy. So anyway, um, she badgered me and badgered me and badgered me. And because we were going to start a new business together, I come from a, a family of entrepreneurs. So in my family, we all run various um, businesses. So we were starting this um, business together and she blackmailed me and said, if you don't do centonomy, we can't do this thing together. So I sort of came, I was like, okay, fine, I'll come. I'll be there, my body will be there. I don't have to listen, you know. So I actually came with a very bad attitude, a very, very poor attitude. Um, a little bit like what the previous speaker was thinking, where you're thinking, mm -hmm, I don't need any of this. And because I wasn't li um, living a lifestyle of a champagne lifestyle, <laughs> I also didn't see what, you know, centonomy had to do with me. But anyway, the good thing with centonomy is what I would say, without repeating what others have said, because we all come to it at a different place in our life, from a different space, and we're all looking for different things. But I think, first of all, just come. You know, you can always learn something. Just come. I mean, I think the minute you close your mind off and feel that you have nothing to, to learn from anyone, that's a bad place to be. So I really do encourage you to come, open your mind, because one person may learn 10 things, you may learn three things, somebody else may learn two things, but the thing is you will leave with something from Centonomy. For me, I learned a lot and I can't go through everything because honestly, every single week is such a powerful lesson. But I think the two things that I want to emphasize on were, it made me have a very um, serious think about my retirement. Up until that point, I didn't want to think about retirement. Why should I think about retirement? I mean, I haven't hit, hit 50, and I was in that space where, you know, I'd run my own business successfully, you know, I had a house, I had a car, I had, I had a nice lifestyle, my kids were in good schools. So we were just in that space where we're just, you know, just making sure that the kids go to, to school and finish that and you kind of drown in that. So you're just like retirement, why should I think about retirement? But there's a way that Sheke made us think about retirement. And it really hit me. And it was actually the second class, and I don't want to go too much into the detail because I want you guys to go and learn about it, but it really hit me and I thought, okay, right now things are okay because, you know, we run our own businesses. Whenever we want more money, we just put more effort and get whatever we want and do the thing that you want to do. But I started thinking, but what's gonna happen in retirement because you know, you won't have that energy that you have when you're young. And, you know, when we did all these um, um, values of what your money will be worth, you know, in 10 years, in 20 years, it, it was very sobering. So, um, so it really got me thinking about my retirement. And, and I thought to myself, I, 
don't want to go into my retirement, how I've been living like sort of my last, you know, 20 years from when I left college to where I am now. I thought, no, I think with retirement, you need to approach it with a more sober mind because truly that time you will be ailing, you might get sickly, so you, you really need to have a good plan for your retirement. So that really hit me. And I think combined with that, you know, I was in that space. I was in a, I suppose, a transition in my life where, you know, I'd run my business for 15 years, I'd sold it. I was now, you know, with my family and our family business, but I still was looking for other things to do. And one of the things that I had sort of been thinking about was property, but I think as as the previous speakers um, talked about, I was always thinking, I'd like to build some flats, but you know, Kileleshwa, Kilimani, um, my sister was building in Riverside, I was like, Riverside, but then uh, a plot, a, an acre in Riverside cost like 100 million, so I was like, oh my God, that is, you know, completely unreachable. And in the property class, I remember Sheka talked about Kitengela. And it really, really did get me thinking, not so much when I was in the class, but after I finished Santonomy. And she talked about an eighth of a plot. Okay, I'll be very honest. Up until that point, I had never thought of an eighth. I was like, an eighth? And what's an eighth? What do you do with an eight? How, how does it look? You know? And you know, she talked about how, you know, they built some flats on an eighth, and this thing was mind boggling to me. I mean, I, I was just like, you mean I don't have to buy a plot in Kilimani, Kileleshwa? Anyway, so I left the class, thought about it, but I'm still in that. Um, and one of the things that Centonomy, if you want Centonomy to work for you, you have to strip yourself and be very honest. And so I kept thinking, oh my God, am I gonna go to Kitangela? I don't know, it's starting so dusty. But, <laughs> but anyway, it's not Riverside. And uh, one day my sister and I, you know, decided to take the trip down to, to Kitangela. So we, we took a Saturday afternoon because her class had gone down with, with Sheke. So uh, to be honest, I didn't even know how to get there. So she showed me how to get there. So anyway, we went there and I remember getting there and, and I was thinking, God, the place is looking dusty actually. It is. But... I had a new knowledge because we had done the maths in, in the class with the Sheke. And it's all about the return on your investment. So as much as I was finding it looking dusty, I knew exactly what those dusty buildings meant in terms of their monetary value. And so I was looking at them with a newfound respect. Anyway, um, to cut a very long story short, I kind of got excited after that and, you know, started talking to people, including the, um, the person who had taught us property, um, in, you know, in Centonomy, looked him up, went and sat with him in his office, you know, went through the class again, asked him my own questions. And then I just started, you know, when you open your mind, you begin to see that there were so many things that were right there, but you never saw them because you were thinking in a certain way. But because of Sheke, and Sheke, thank you so much, because Sheke has such a, an open heart, and she's so humble, and she puts things in, honestly, such a simple way. You know, she didn't, she didn't lord it over us. She didn't sort of make it sound like, oh, this big complicated thing, you know. She really made it, you know, just sound like, yes, you can do it too. And she, she breaks it down for you very well because I think sometimes we want to do things, but we get caught up in the, but how do you do it? And, and you get afraid of asking people because sometimes people just want to make it sound so complicated so that maybe so that you don't do it, I don't know. But anyway, so I talked to the property teacher, started talking to various people, 
um, I talked to a friend of mine who's um, putting up some flats in Donholm. So I got, I gathered a lot of information and then I got myself an agent and I got myself a plot, my one eighth, <laughs> which, which I'm very excited about actually. I think the sale agreement went through yesterday. <laughs> You know, and um, you know, got myself an architect, and we've we've drawn up um, the flats, Sheke. You have to see them, and and um, and so the big thing that Sheke did for me was she burst my, I suppose, poor attitude and combined with fear, because by the way, sometimes a lot of poor attitudes, if you actually strip it down, it's not actually a poor attitude, it's fear, because you're, you're just fearful. You're like, how? How am I gonna go and build a, a block of flats on my own, you know? And I, and I really wanted to do it with a group of people, but anyway. So, yeah, so I can't say that um, my journey has ended, because it hasn't, you know. Uh, I've got the plot. I've got the drawings and we're right now in Kajiado County at the planners <laughs> where I jumped into the car one day and went to, to see them and uh, surprise, surprise, I was thinking it was going to be some big man with, uh, I don't know, I just thought he'd be really scary and intimidating and saying, eh, madam, sasa, najua, eh, sasa tutaongea. <laughs> but surprise, surprise, I find a nice little young, 30 year old lady sitting in a nice little office with her laptop and she was like, yeah, this is your land. This is how you're gonna do the change of user. So the thing is, I'm still on the journey. It's really exciting. I'm, I'm just loving it, you know. Um, I can't wait for the groundbreaking. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a few weeks behind, but you know, I'm not getting bogged down by the detail. I'm just excited that I'm going to do this. And I know that, um, when I finish doing this, you know, I've been to the bank and, and, and one of the things that the bank manager said to me, which I loved, she said, oh, Susan, don't worry, we'll give you the money. And, and, and you know, the thing is, you'll get so carried away with it, you'll be back to do the second project. So for me, I'm excited because I'm going to be doing this new business and I will be able to put aside a substantial amount of money for my retirement. And... Um, so, you know, really, what can I say? I mean, this step I wouldn't have taken if I hadn't done Centonomy. You know, thank you so much, Sheke. Thank you for being so open, so honest with us. And I really, really would urge all of you to take this course. It really is a life-changing course because you can read a lot of books. I'm not against reading the books. There's great books out there, but there's something about doing a course that's by a Kenyan, about the Kenyan situation that makes it real. Because sometimes we read about Richard Branson and all these, oh, it's great, but you can't relate to it. But you know, when it's Sheke's story and you can drive down to Kitangela this afternoon, you know, it, it, it's very powerful. So please people, register. We haven't been paid to tell you this. Um, <laughs> it's just that, you know, when you find a good thing, you want to share it with other people. So thank you so much for having me, Sheke, and um, everybody, it's your last chance. If you don't register, um, you'll be the one sitting without a retirement plan. So thank you. Thank you.